Yo, what's up guys? It's um Who Killed Isaiah. This is my first tutorial, but I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make um it's almost like a vintage horror tea design. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is first here let me pull up. You're gonna wanna find the original image that you're gonna be using. This is the image I found. You can just literally find these images anywhere. I just got this shit off of Google. I, I, I think I looked up like vintage horror poster or something like that, something in that regard and then for Photoshop if you're not working I mean the width and height it's all up to you but I like to do uh, 3k by 4k 300 resolution make sure you put through in a resolution because that's like the best to use I don't know why it just is <laughs> and then let's make sure this is jump to the design so get your, your shit set up this is going to be for a black garment so I'm gonna set it up for that and pull your, you're gonna want to pull your image into here. Uh, you can do that like this, or you can file, place embedded. I just like to drag it in. And this is mainly the most important part. It, it's really simple to do. So what I'm going to do is, unless you have a, like, I got these from uh, Doron Studios. It's, it basically just makes my image what I'm about to do, but it does it. Uh, automatically for me but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to filter filter gallery and make sure you have a black and white um, color set up and then you're gonna want to go to sketch uh, stamp and then from here you're just going to want to mess around with um, your light and dark balance and your smoothness as well I usually keep my smoothness on like between like 5 and 10 just because I like the grainy effect oh also with the grain so you see how I have three grain layers. You're going to want to do new effect layer, but you're going to want to go over to um, texture grain, and then you'll see how it like adds a grain layer over it. And you can do that as much times as you want, depending on how you like it. I'm gonna delete those though, and just have a stamp and then three grain layers um, below. So once you have your light and dark balance set up to the point where you want it, I'm gonna keep mine around here. Just go and press OK. Wait for it to render. <clears throat> and then from there basically all you're going to do this is how I do it. you can do it other ways but this is how I do it I just double click on the layer color overlay pick your color and for this design it's going to be darker color but I'm going to switch this I'm going to make this a little lighter I don't like how dark it is I think about there looks good for me and I just hit ok now that's mainly just for that's that's the main that's pretty much it for the main image I mean you can clean it up if you want to take your time with it etc but I'm gonna actually see if I can edit this because I want I don't like the edges how they cut like that I want to see if I can fix that okay yeah I'm gonna keep it like that then it looks better to me so from here um, I mean the main image I mean here, I've actually control J copy the layer. I'm gonna rasterize this just to add a little extra. I'm gonna go back to the filter gallery, and this may or may not work. I'm gonna go to texture and I'm gonna texturize it right just to get a little more like detail in it. And now you see that there's like this weird box around it, so I'm gonna just play with the blending modes until it's where I want it. This might actually not work for this image, but it's fine because I have textures I can add extra uh, after I'm done to make it pop a little more. Okay, from here, what you're going to want to do, well, if you want, I'm just show you guys how to add some text, like some grunge text. So I'm going to actually um, go to this font, type in grave. Make it bigger and I'm gonna add a slight curve to it actually. Maybe 25, yeah, that looks fine. And then also let me play with the font size, 125. Looks good enough. And I already did this design, I'm just redoing it to uh, make this tutorial, but okay, maybe I have to make everything a little bit smaller just to fit on this. Go to render. Make 
the top text a little bit smaller. Maybe about there. Then on the design that I did, you're going to want to keep layers of this. I mean, especially if you're selling the design, keep extra layers of the text just in case the people that buy the design wants to, um, you know, change the text. So I'm going to add a stroke to this. It's a small little one. And then I know there's easier ways of doing this, but that's how I do it. So create the stroke, rasterize it, and then go back to stroke. And it just adds a nice little outline to it, which I like. Ten, that looks right. I'm gonna rasterize it again, so I don't fuck up the strokes. Pause. Okay, so that's it for the top text. It, well, it's not done yet, but I'm gonna add the bottom text right away. Ranger. I'm gonna switch this to more of a bold font. That looks good to me. Size it down. Just make it fit in a little bit. I'm actually going to move this slightly. Okay. And that's it for the. I mean, you see how long that took me. I mean, it's pretty simple. Especially once you do it a couple of times and you just get the hang of it. But just center it out a little more. Okay. Let me scale it. Alright, now I'll make sure you make a. For the original text. Actually, I'm gonna add a stroke to this as well. Stroke. Just to have it stand out slightly. You can also convert it to a smart object, but I don't know. I just do things my own way most of the time. So, I don't know why, but that looks kind of off center to me. Okay, I'll keep it like that. Okay, now is the more um, intricate part. So, I'm actually going to rasterize this right here. And I'm going to set it to a screen just so I can. You'll see why. Okay, so let's work on the grave first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to threshold it, right? I'm going to click on the layer. I'm going to go to blur, Gaussian blur, and you'll see what that does. It just makes it like a little more grungy almost. I'm going to press OK. And then this is what really matters. So I have a texture pulled up. I can pull it up real quick go to unsplash and I actually learned this um oh okay uh, I actually learned this from uh, Duran Studios so he put me on this website I'll grab this right here copy image bring it back to Photoshop and you see how it's already threshold because it's under uh, the threshold layer already so just rotate it and just scale it to size you'll see what this does so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a layer mask over this i'm going to control i to invert it you notice how it disappears and then go over to your eraser um put the size up if you're working in the same um aspect that i'm working at just do a thousand pixels hardness at zero and then change your opacity as well maybe to like 20 25 maybe even lower and then once you see once i erase on top of the grave with the layer mask selected you see that it adds these grunge effects almost and my opacity is very low so let me turn that up you see how it just adds all that grunge effect to it and that's basically all you do for that and then with the other text it's just rinse and repeating so you can drag the layer back in again uh, let me find it copy all right you just drag that Rotate it and scale it to size. Whatever. Um, add a layer mask. Invert it. Uh, go to your eraser. Yeah, okay, I need to change my opacity. Yeah, there you go. See, that's a little too harsh, but just play around however you want it. You know, hit, 
hit up some of the corners whatever it's really just to your liking but I don't like that right there but for the sake of time I'll just leave it and then pretty much this is the design pretty much done I mean you can add small more details to the main image to the text add some more little assets to it to just bring it to life more but the final thing I'm just going to do to help it come to life more I'm going to drag a texture here that I got from Duran Studios or Duran Supply I'm going to drag that to the top and I'm going to change it to screen I'm going to change the opacity a little bit Turn it down and all right, that's pretty much the design done for you that's how to do a grunge vintage horror tee and a little tutorial on how to do the grunge rough uh, text the texture so yep that's it